I'm about to tell you exactly what books you should read and at what stage of your journey to $10,000 a month you should read them to get there as fast as possible. If you're new here, my name is Brian and I help you quit your nine to five and turn your hobby into a business. I went full time on my hobby of game development a couple of years ago and I have another YouTube channel with 128,000 subscribers. I made this channel for ambitious people like you. Everyone on this channel is trying to build this life for themselves. So if you want to join our movement and you resonate with that, subscribe. I'm on the train. It's 2021 and I'm on my way to work, but I'm not going to be there anytime soon. It takes two hours one way to get there. I'm going to have to be there for nine hours and then it takes two hours to get back. I'm doing all of this just to cover bills and have nothing left at the end of each month. I have a lot of time on the train, which I usually spend watching Netflix. But as the days blend together and time goes on, my pain gets stronger than my laziness and I decide to start reading books instead. The first first book I pick up that actually makes a difference in my life is Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. On the outside, I'm fat and lazy, but on the inside, I know I'm meant for more. I know I want to make something of myself, and that book helps me unlock that part of me. It reminds me just how much potential I'm wasting and just how much of a bitch I'm being, to be completely honest. It gives me this energy, this outlook on life that I've never had before, and as I progress through the book, I become convinced that this is the start to the life that I was always supposed to lead. I read what David Goggins says about his old life and it's really similar to my current life. I feel this energy build up inside of me as I read the book, but then I look up and see that familiar, cramped, sweaty train. In the past, I did this felt some discomfort and then kept distracting myself, but this time I'm gonna make a change. Whilst still reading Can't Hurt Me, I start my weight loss transformation. I start tracking calories. I start training with the one hour at home I have left after coming back to work before I have to go to bed and repeat it all again. I spend even more time packing healthy lunches to work instead of eating all the Greg's baked crap and meal deal shit. And best of all, Can't Hurt Me convinces me to start running. My first run, I go to a park near my house and I run just one kilometer. Except it feels like I've just run 10. I'm confronted with just how unfit I really am. But then I get home and the pain doesn't stop. It takes 45 minutes to physically recover my breath after that run. Fast forward a few months and because of that energy can't hurt me gave me, I go from 110 kilograms to 79 kilograms. I go from barely being able to hang from a bar to being able to crank out loads of pull-ups relatively easily. And I do all of this while still spending like 13 hours a day at my nine to five. Except now my year long internship is over and I have one year left of university. I have to make something of myself in that year Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go back. So my fitness is sorted. I feel good, but now I have all this spare energy. I'm disciplined, but I don't really know how to channel this discipline. So I start consistently posting YouTube videos, except I don't get anywhere because I don't know what I'm doing. That is when I decide to start reading business books. And like a miracle, the first book I pick up is unscripted by MJ DeMarco. I start reading this book and it's like I'm immediately friends with this guy. He describes how I feel about society, life, and a nine to five so freaking well. He talks about the script I was led into from birth. Then he describes all the beliefs that were forced onto me by media, school, and even my parents. He explains why everything I know is bullshit and it's designed to keep me a model citizen, part of the system. And after breaking down everything I thought was true about the world, he rebuilt my mind from the ground up and taught me how to actually build a successful business. This is one of those books where I'm reading it and in front of me I've got my notes open and every single page I write something new down. There's so many gems in there. Before I read this book, I felt stuck and quite alone in the journey. But after I read this book, I feel free, I feel confident and I actually know what to do now. But there's still one problem because I know what to do and I'm disciplined enough to do it, but I'm still working like a nine to five employee. I sometimes literally sit in my room for a full work day and only end up getting one hour of work done. At this point, I realized that making money online 
isn't gonna be enough. Because what good is that if your business becomes your boss and you create another nine to five for yourself? After a few weeks of struggling like this, I realized that I've heard of this book called Deep Work and everyone's recommending it to me. So I finally decide to read it and I quickly realize why everyone recommends it. This book is a non-negotiable if you want to work for yourself. This book will save you more time and money than any other book you read. And it's actually the reason I have a life outside of work in the first place. So as I'm reading this book, it teaches me not only how to get more work done in one hour than I used to get done in an entire day, it also teaches me how to be fulfilled in my life. Because prior to that, I lived a very shallow life. The book taught me that shallow tasks, shallow work, doing multitasking all day is actually really bad for your mental health. So not only does that book teach me how to work properly, it's really good for my life perspective, like my mental health. After I read Deep Work, after months of struggling to start a YouTube channel, my channel finally takes off and I go from zero to 50,000 subscribers in just a few weeks. But in business, there's this point you reach where suddenly there's all this work to do. And Deep Work lets me handle this extra work a lot better, but I still find myself running out of time in my day. And that's where the four hour work week comes in. And this book ties it all together for me because you've got the discipline from Can't Hurt Me, you've got the mindset from Unscripted, and you've got the methods in your actual daily life to make it work, which is Deep Work, but there's still something missing. In fact, what's missing is the point of the whole thing, which is freedom. Four hour work week teaches me that thing I was missing, which is how to actually set up my business and life in a way where I can actually start enjoying it. I read this book just as I'm about to go full time right at the end of university in mid 2022, but I don't actually end up using it until a bit later. One of the concepts that the book talks about is mini retirement. It's essentially times in your life where you disappear for months up to a year at a time and you still keep the money coming in. In the book, the author talks about the adventures he had in his own mini retirement. And whilst I'm reading it, I'm still earning $1,000 a month in 2022. I'm still in my university accommodation. But funnily enough, just a couple of years later, I find myself in Thailand on my own mini retirement from January this year to May this year. It's a full circle moment. I went from working 13 hours per day and not having any money left over to living in a villa in Thailand and earning $10,000 a month. I put myself in a position where I can stop working for months at a time and the money would still be coming in. That was a dream that it all started with and I had done it. So if you want this same sort of life and there's only four books that you could read, make it those four. If you want me to teach you exactly step-by-step step how to quit your nine to five and turn your hobby into a business, I'm making a full system to teach you how to do it. And if you're interested, you can join the waiting list for it in the description. It's not quite done yet, but it will be soon. See you next video.